Hey guys, what's going on? Tom here, or Gummy, back with another video. Today we are doing my 10k Q&A, which is a bit ironic, seeing as one currently 12,000 subscribers, which is mind-blowing. But yeah, I'm roughly about three weeks behind uh, schedule with this, and that kind of sucks, and I apologise for that. But I've got this video out here now, and hopefully you guys enjoy it. I've picked out roughly about 28 questions, and uh, they vary a bit, and they're quite interesting questions. Some just general questions, and some a bit more um, in-depth questions. And yeah, hopefully you enjoy it. The gameplay is off the Emerald Isle, me and Bongo Man on Hunger Games. I always play on there a lot, um, so if you ever want to meet me, that is probably the place to be, or GorillaCraft.com. Talking of GorillaCraft.com, I'll be doing some VIP giveaways for anyone who wants to play on the server. And yeah, I'm also on there a lot, so definitely check it out, and that is GorillaCraft.com. So again, thank you guys so, so much for all the support recently. We've gained the 3,000 subscribers in the last 28 days, and that is mind-blowing. And I can't say how much it means to me in words, I guess. Um, it is just unbelievable. So yeah, thank you guys so, so much from the uh, bottom of my heart. I really mean it. Thank you guys, and I will see you soon. Now into the Q&A. Hopefully you enjoy it, and I'll see you there. Okay, so let's kick this off with question one. Question one is coming from Juan Exposito, and he asks, Why did you start with Minecraft Pixel Art? So I'm going to give you a quick rundown of why. It was purely because I used to play on the server, and... Um, I used to like building pixel art on there, like creative, and I looked online and these templates were very uh, substandard and very like similar, they were all like for Marvel characters or the Simpsons or something like that, you'd occasionally get something different like a troll face or something, they'd all be very generic and you'd see these pixel arts everywhere on all these servers, so I thought that I could create a few of my own and uh, make them unique and make them stand out, which is why I started with the Angry Birds pixel art, because uh, it wasn't something that had been done too much. So yeah, hopefully that answered that. It was more to be original and uh, try and stand out a bit. Plus, I enjoyed making it, and you guys enjoyed watching the tutorials. They started to pick up quite quickly, and yeah, I enjoyed it, so I kept it going. Okay, so on to question two. This question is coming from Lindsay Crawford, and she asked, Do you plan on doing YouTube full-time? Answer to that is no. And if you are, what is your backup plan if building statues and pixel art doesn't work? So, in relation to the first part, I never really intended to do YouTube full-time because I never really intended to make money from it, and that's been a something I've stuck with. And if I was going to do it, what would my backup plan be? I think it would just be to make videos that I enjoy making, and hopefully you guys enjoy making, even if that wasn't pixel art. I think a few videos with my friends and stuff, playing like Minecraft, Hunger Games, I think, might be fun, but at the moment I'm sticking it to pixel art and statues purely because that's what you guys seem to enjoy, and I'm having a bit of fun doing it myself anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, so moving on to question 3, this question comes from Xavier Rios, hopefully I didn't butcher that name too bad, and uh, he asks, will you do a face reveal, or will you play any other games, hashtag Gummy10k, and in relation to the first part of the question, I'm going to, uh, I guess, say not at the moment, probably not, because I don't see the reason to put a face reveal um, with tutorials or a face cam with tutorials should I say and I think it kind of takes away from the whole point of being a tutorial if you mean like a special face reveal for like 20k or something maybe I uh, don't know but at the moment as I said probably not and will you play other, any other games at the moment again my channel is more or less uh, Minecraft only over time I might move into doing other tutorials for games like Grand Theft Auto or Call of Duty or something along them lines but at the moment I'm having fun doing Minecraft and you guys are enjoying it so I guess I'll stick with it Okay, so question four comes from Toy Chica the Pirate, and she asks, "When have you first started playing Minecraft?" So uh, I originally started playing Minecraft way back in uh, around August 2011, and I remember that because I started just before the adventure update came out on PC, the one where they added like villages and strongholds and stuff like that. So uh, that was when I started playing Minecraft in general. But at that point, I really wasn't into it that much. I just played single player and built stuff on creative. Uh, when I re got into Minecraft was when Xbox 360 version came out, I'm not sure of the exact date of that, but I know it was about two years ago, so uh, that was when I restarted getting into Minecraft, and I've had peaks where I've stopped playing it a bit, and peaks where I've played it a lot, but I guess three years later, or four years later now, I'm still playing it, and I'm still enjoying it, so yeah. Okay, so moving on to question five, it's coming from Connor Price, and he asks, Can you check out my statue world please? My name is Craftix, thanks. And in relation to that, this is a general question I get asked quite a lot, can you see my statue world? And uh, I'm going to say yes, because I can, and I like checking out your guys' worlds as much as I can. Only one restriction I can do though is uh, if it's on PC, feel free to send me a download link, 
unless you've got it on a server. And if it's on Xbox, it has to be on Xbox One. Unfortunately, I can't check out 360 Worlds. One, because my 360 doesn't work at the moment. And two, because my friends list is full and you have to be friends with people to join their worlds. If you have got it on Xbox One, though, feel free to invite me and I'll join if I have a bit of time. In regards to recording it, at the moment I can't because I don't have much time. But in the future, maybe, if it stands out from the other worlds and it's awesome, then yeah, sure. Um, but yeah, at the moment, not so much. Sorry. Next question rolling in is question 6, coming from Rusty Fondelberg, and he asks, Why when you do statues do you use coordinates in place of numbers? Short response to that is purely because it makes counting at a whole level a lot easier. If you know the uh, dimensions of it being 12 by 8 and 12 by 8 instead of having to count up 12, you can just add 12 onto the Y position of the floor and it makes life a bit easier. I do know that now that mobile devices don't have coordinates and I will start, I guess, focusing on the numbers a bit more. But in general, using coordinates is a lot easier and I do try to use the numbers as much as possible as well. So yeah, hopefully that answered your question. Moving on, question seven coming from C the Flames, and that is an awesome username by the way. And he asks, will you do a survival series and what is the most awkward moment you've ever been in? Answer to the first part of the question about the survival series is not the moment, but I, over time, maybe will do. I like the idea of doing it and it seems like something fun to do, but I've seen people um, before that do survival series because people want to do them and it hasn't turned out the best it could be if it was really what they wanted to do. So again, if I ever do, it's because I really want to do it rather than because I feel I kind of have to. And in relation to the most awkward moment, it's probably when I threw up in the middle of the playground at junior school. I was probably about, what, 7 or 8 then? And in front of pretty much everyone in the school, I threw up. So yeah, that was kind of awkward and kind of grim. And hopefully that answered your question. <laughs> question 8 is coming from Dennis the Omega Gamer, and he asks, If you have one, what is your favourite Minecraft mod? So until recently, I never played modded Minecraft, and I started playing Feed the Beast with Jared Gaming and Give Us Gaming recently. And uh, I've been really enjoying it. I'm not stupid though, I know it's a mod pack. But my favourite mod, or favourite mods should I say, are definitely in that mod pack. I really do like the Tinker's Constructs mod, and I really love Industrial Craft. I love the machines and everything to do with it, and yeah, I just really enjoy it. So yeah, I hope that answered your question. Question 9 is coming from Caleb Reno, and he asks, Do you make all these statues yourself, or do you get them from another source? So as for statues, I do make the majority of them myself. I design them based on internet skins normally. Or sometimes, such as the uh, Five Nights at Freddy's people, I just freestyled them and completely made them out of my imagination. But um, there are rare occasions, such as recently with the rest of the Five Nights at Freddy's collection, where people like Lazar have been uh, helping me and uh, helping me with the designs because I am short on time sometimes. And yeah, people like him and Tawny do come along sometimes and let me use their designs. When it is theirs, I do credit them fully in the intro and the description. So if you're ever interested on a tutorial, whether it's my design or not, or something I've had input in or not, then check the description and it will give you all the details you need to know. So yeah, hopefully that cleared up for you and uh, answered your question well. Question 10 is coming from my buddy and fellow build team member, Drophack, and he asks, who was your first friend and who was your first friend on Xbox, I guess is what he's trying to say. Um, my first few friends in real life were a guy called Daniel and also James, who you guys know as Give Us Gaming. And my first friend on Xbox was also a guy I know in real life called Hein, and his game tag was Flamethrower 13. He was the first official person that hit my list, and uh, yeah, I was friends with him for quite a while. Question 11 is coming from SmallGuy68, and he asked, How do you design your own statues, and what do you plan for the future of your channel? Also, keep up the awesome videos, because they're awesome. So, thank you, SmallGuy, for the uh, kind words. In relation to the question you're asking, how do I design them? First of all, you start off with the normal, I guess, uh, dimensions. So the dimensions you stick to are 12x8 for the legs, 12x8 for the body, 12x4 for each arm, and 8x8 for the head. Once you've got them basically in your mind, you just find a design normally on the internet, like a skin, and you kind of just match what block is to what colour on the skin, and that's kind of how you do that. If you want to get into more advanced things, you can kind of picture where stuff would be 3D, and um, Kind of implement that into the statue and that's very much what I've been doing with the Five Nights at Freddy's people, adding 3D effects everywhere and it does make your statues look better. Again though, you really got to focus on the dimensions because if you screw them up then that's kind of the statue done. And also in relation to the second part, the future of my channel, I guess I want to keep on going with the Minecraft tutorials as long as it possibly uh, can go I guess because I do enjoy doing them. 
and in the future I may do a few gameplays with my friends um, such as Give Us Gaming like a few Hunger Games I don't know I've not really thought about it in depth too much because I like doing statues and that seems to be the uh, good thing to keep doing so yeah okay so question 12 is coming from FNAF and MLP crossover and he asked one what made you or inspired you to make a channel of tutorials or statues and pixel arts and two do you work on this channel by yourself or with someone else so the first question is I was actually inspired to do it because I liked watching other people on YouTube and I thought it'd be cool to do I also enjoyed designing pixel arts and I actually got my work taken off planet minecraft a few times because they have a quite hostile approach towards pixel artists so I thought screw it I'll just make my own tutorials and start uploading to that website which I have done and two I do work on it by myself at the moment what the future holds I don't know I may be doing some projects with give us gaming but again I don't know yet so uh, yeah so question 13 coming from my buddy Hazel Halfling and fellow build team member he asked are you going to play Five Nights at Freddy's eventually maybe with a face cam Again, this kind of fits in with the whole idea of me playing other games, and like before, at the moment, I don't think I will. Over time, who knows? And again, with the face cam, who knows? Over time, I probably will start incorporating it in my channel a bit. I don't know. Um, but probably not with Five Nights at Freddy's, because one, it's getting a bit like out of fashion, the whole uh, playing it, let's play kind of deal, because a lot of people have already played it and know what it is. And secondly, also it's because... I more enjoy the idea of the characters and the story behind it and I enjoy building the characters rather than the actual game itself. I kind of think it's a bit of a slow paced game and playing it for the sake of playing it is not something I really kind of want to do at the moment. So yeah, hopefully that answered your question and on to question 14. Question 14 coming right at you from Anonymous or Cubecraft and he asks, who's your favourite YouTuber and have you done a statue of him yet? So my all time favourite YouTuber is Syndicate he was one of the main inspirations of why I started my channel and I've been watching his videos for a long long time I have in fact built a statue of him and I'm quite proud of it to be honest it's quite a detailed statue another one of my favorite youtubers is also Efo. I like the way his uh, videos are so laid back and I watch pretty much all of them again I've made a statue of him I haven't made a video of it however I have made a tutorial for the syndicate statue so if you want to check that out feel free and yeah Moving on, question 15 is coming from Loopy Gaming, and he asks why did you want to start YouTube? And in all honesty, I don't really know why I started it. It was more likely because I was playing on the Dark Assassin Craft server, and there was a few people on there who was doing YouTube, like they had like 20, 30 subs, and I saw what they were doing and I thought I could do it too. They hooked me up with the uh, software to be able to do it, and I made my first video. So that's pretty much it. Again, I was kind of inspired by other YouTubers such as Syndicate. Um, to make videos, but the main thing that really got me to start was people like Creeper Keller and Wordsworth of the Dark Assassin Craft server. Question 16 is coming from Lindsay Crawford, GG Lindsay for being in the video twice, and she asked what is your favourite colour, TV show, game and or food? So my favourite colour is green, not the dark green, we're talking like the Illuminous in your face lime green, love that colour. Um, my favourite TV show is Gogglebox, if you're not from the UK you probably won't know what that is, it's kind of short what it is is they get a bunch of people to sit down watch tv and i guess uh, talk about it and make fun of it and point things out and it's great i love it it's a really funny show if you want to know more then i guess google search it it will come up uh, my favorite game has been minecraft but recently i've been playing a lot of league of legends and my favorite food is chinese and indian nothing beats that it's the best tasting food on this planet and that's the end of that Question 17 coming from Loopy Gaming again, second time in the video, and he asked, Can I play with you on Xbox One? So, short answer to that is yes, Xbox One is fine, Xbox 360 not so much, purely because one, it doesn't work at the moment, and two, my friends list is full. But with Xbox One, me being able to add a hell of a lot more people, feel free to add me, it is Gummy Bear 5000, and until my friends list full up, um, I can accept anyone, so yeah, add me. Question 18 is coming from X Red Clouds and he asks how old are you? Simply I'm 16, end of this year I will be 17, well not already end, August 11th is my birthday. Now you know that I'm going to expect a ton of presents this year so uh, yeah get your cards ready. Okay so moving on to question 19, this is from Koi Care, hopefully I didn't butcher that name too bad and they ask how was starting YouTube? In my honest opinion and in my experiences it was really slow um, to get started, I, it took several months to hit 100 subscribers. And the main thing that rebooted uh, or kickstarted my channel, should I say, was the Gangnam Style pixel art that really took off and really helped my channel out. But apart from that, it was really slow and uh, in somewhat kind of, I guess, uh, saddening to see that your videos weren't getting any views. 
But now two years down the line, they're picking up a bit and I've hit 12,000 subscribers. So what can be better, I guess? And moving on, question 20 comes from The Elite Gamer and he asks, can you do more YouTuber statues or pixel art? And the short answer to that is yes. At the moment, I've been, I guess, focusing on uh, theme statues such as Five Nights at Freddy's and I'll continue to do that in the form of other series such as maybe Marvel or DC or think around that. I will be doing more YouTuber statues though in the uh, future. Name a few, maybe popular MMOs, people like that, I guess. And also pixel art, again, I will bring back over time. It's just at the moment I've kind of died, uh, uh, died interest in that for a bit and it will come back over time, I promise, but at the moment, not so much. Question 21 comes from GramBam36 and it is a great question. He asks, what got you the name Gummy Bear Games? And if I'm honest, I don't have a clue. I just remember when I made my Xbox Live account nearly four years ago now. I called it Gummy Bear 5000. I don't have a clue why. It was nothing to do with the song. It was just random. Um, and from that, I came up with the thing Gummy Bear Gaming uh, when I was going to start my channel. But that was taken, so I just did Gummy Bear Games instead. More over time, though, I've changed my name up a bit. And recently, I've been going off the name Gummy because it's nice, short, and sweet. Um, but yeah, as I said, I don't really know what it got its style, it was just a random thing, I based it on my Xbox Gamer Tag and it's evolved from there, so yeah, can't really explain how it started, but it did. Question 22 comes from iToxic, and it's very similar to a question I answered earlier, as I said before, I started in 1.7 or just before 1.8 in the beta of Minecraft, and the first thing I did when I uh, did start playing it, I guess, I actually went into a creative world and I spawned on like a mountain area. And it was my mission to blow up the mountain, basically, and build a city. Now, I could have made my life easier and just chose a flat area to build a city, but that wasn't what I was all about. So I decided that I would take it upon myself, flatten the mountain, and build a city on a snowy mountain area. Which wasn't the best ideas, and it did fail. But I did build a pretty awesome thing. Unfortunately, it did get deleted, because the laptop I started playing on Minecraft actually corrupted. And I lost everything on it. I've still got a few of my worlds um, on my laptop next the next of laptops i guess you could say um and i got a few new ones on my computer but mainly it was creative and i guess that stuck through because that's more or less what i play now my next question is coming from predator gaming a very good friend of mine and fellow build team member again got some great questions from the uh, people in the build team and he asked what equipment do you use and when are you going to come visit me hashtag gummy 10k uh in response to I guess the visiting part I really really want to come to America like ridiculously bad that's like one of my biggest dreams and hopefully I'll be able to fulfill that soon within the next like year or two probably two and uh, if you're in the part that I'm gonna visit then yeah sure that will be awesome and as for equipment I am using a blue yeti microphone that is what you are hearing my very amazing voice through also a pop filter it's kind of like a random brand so I can't remember that for hell um, I use an Elgato, not the HD60, just the average one. Webcam, I have a Logitech, but you won't see that because uh, you've never seen my face, I guess. Razer, um, keyboard, Razer mouse, well, it's Death Adder and Death Stalker for mouse and keyboard. Two BenQ 24 inch monitors, an Xbox One, my beast of a computer with an i7, GTX 970 uh, graphics card, and stuff like that, and also Xbox One and Xbox 360. So a lot of equipment, a lot of it I don't really use that much, especially the webcam, um, but mainly the microphone and the capture card is what I use to make videos. The next question comes from Isaiah Bonish, again apologies if I butchered that name, and he says, of all the statues you built, which one in your opinion is your favourite design? Um, that's a cross between a few of my statues I've done. One of my favourites is actually the Foxy statue I did, I think that looked quite nice and that turned out quite good. I also quite like the Freddy statue. And again, the Syndicate statue I did was quite good as well. Uh, not to sound vain, but I really did like that and I was really quite proud of it. Again, the Vanos collection was good, but yeah, I'd have to say Syndicate statue was probably my favourite one that I've designed to date. So, uh, yeah. Moving on, question 25 comes from Alpanida137 and they ask, What would you do if you did not have YouTube in your life? Hashtag Q&A. And that's a nice and easy question to answer. I would probably be as lonely um, and awkward as I was a few years ago. And YouTube has been great because it's raised my confidence and gave me like something to talk about to new people. And it's also introduced me to a lot of new people such as Kyle or Mastercake9. And I've been great friends with people, especially Kyle. He's been a great friend and I wouldn't have met him if it wasn't for YouTube. So yeah, that would kind of suck if YouTube wasn't there. Again, it's also kind of uh, extended what I can do in life because it's made me more confident and it's made me 
easier to speak to new people and that will hopefully get me further in life so yeah youtube's kind of been good moving on we have a great question from drop pack yt and he asks how long were you friends with give us gaming i've probably been friends with him for about 10 years or so um we've been friends since the start of junior school which in the uk is what like up till 11 so about 8 7 to 11 something like that um so i've probably been friends with him since i was about seven and i'm now not too far off 17 so yeah i've been friends with him for quite a long time you could probably say <laughs> And the second to last question we're going to be doing is from Imogen McManus and they ask how long have you been doing YouTube and how long do you plan to do it? I've been doing YouTube since October 2012 so just over two years and I plan to do it for as long as I enjoy doing it and as long as you guys enjoy my videos I guess um, which hopefully will be for a bit longer and yeah I'm enjoying YouTube so why quit it now? And the final question for today comes from a great friend of mine, Crazy Boy, and he says, out of the build team, which two members would you be on a desert island with? And I would have to say probably yourself, uh, Crazy, and probably Hazel, because you two are probably the least argumentative out of the group, and the most chilled out and calm. Um, definitely not New Age, Tawny, um, with their arguments. And yeah, I would have to say probably you and Hazel. That will probably make no sense to most people, but all you guys in the build team will know um, who you are. There's about 11 of us now, 12 of us. So yeah, I might talk about the build team a bit more in the future, but it's full of some great people, uh, such as Crazy Boy. So yeah. So guys, that brings us to the end of this Q&A. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and I apologise one last time for the delay of it. Hopefully it gave you an insight to who I am, and more about me and my channel, and where we're going in the future. Again, I'll be doing more of these in the future, so definitely stay tuned and stay subscribed. And if you've got anything more to ask me, then I'll put out a tweet in the future when I'm doing another Q&A, and you can ask it then. And hopefully you guys will be able to get your questions in then. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this. Leave a like if you did, and subscribe if you haven't already. And again, come on GorillaCraft.com. I'm going to be there on a lot more, and uh, play some factions, some survival games, even some creative. It's a great server, and I'll be doing a VIP giveaway in the very near future for... Uh, anyone that wants it so yeah hopefully you enjoyed this again leave a like i will see you soon thank you for watching big big thanks for 10k i can't explain how much it means to me it means the world and yeah let's keep this uh, going because it's a great thing and i finally succeeded at something so yeah thank you for watching i've been tom or gummy and i'll see you next time